Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Welcome back to another week of <laughs> of pop off, gang. Hello. Guess what? Today's vlog is all about Ed. Hi, Ed. Ed, Ed, Ed. Put up more pictures of Ed. Over here, it's Ed. Over there, it's Ed. Okay, Ed. That's Ed. not even my face. It's well, this guy here is. He looks just like you. So, why is today all about you, huh? What's well, what's the big uh, apparently shtick? Apparently, a little a little birdie told me that it's my birthday today. Oh, so, really? So you think you're special? You have to go now. celebrate it or something like that. How old are you now? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> no, but guys, we do have a big day planned. It's gonna be exciting. We're going to one of them places where you could almost die while eating. So Eddie, for his birthday today, has picked to go to Hibachi. <laughs> but guys, before the festivities can begin. We have to show you something very, very depressing. They've completely taken over. This has got way out of hand. You guys saw this thing just like two weeks ago. It was beautiful, beautiful green grass. Now look at it. Now they're turning it into a wasteland. It's basically like fallout out here. All right, should we go do Habachi? Let's go Habachi. <laughs> Why'd you pick that place to go for your birthday? I, I think it's because the entertainment value is, it's like everyone is involved. Yeah, but they're gonna be pulling pranks on you, you know, that's how they do it there. The hibachi men? Yeah, they always- They throw things at you. They always throw things at eggs. you. Eggs. They crack sillies all the time. It's gonna be fun, we're just gonna go hang out and do some birthday fun. It's, it's birthday fun is what it is. Cookie butt is here. So, yeah, I'm ready for the hibachi yeah. experience. So you've never done this before. No, so as you can see, they have this, this grill here. I suggest going with anything hibachi, because then they're going to... Okay. Unless you want to go for sushi. No one, no one does that. Yeah. If you like sushi, screw you. If you like sushi, unsubscribe. I'm joking. I actually, don't unsubscribe. Please don't. You can feel the grill heating already. We also got the boys here, Tom, yeah. Deli. Hey, ask them if they smash the subscribe button. Hey, have you guys smashed the subscribe button? Oh man, first thing I did when I woke up. Oh yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. sir. You unsubscribe and then you subscribe again just to get the thrill of subscribing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I do. It's not like half our subscribers are bot accounts. You know, today's all about family and it's just a time for family, you know, and it's a time to be unplugged and, you know, in the moment. And Oh crap, it's family. It's family. <laughs> look. Boom. Oh, look, guys, they get this. Thank you. Oh. I spilled. I spilled everywhere. I dropped my rubber band braces. Oh, it's hot. Use your fork. I was trying to take the rubber band out of my braces and it flew onto the hibachi grill. Oh, oh, nice. Here it comes, boys. Here we go, here we go. It's yum yum sauce. Yum yum sauce? Yeah, you know why they call it yum yum sauce? Why do they call it yum yum sauce? Because it's yummy. yummy. Freaking yummy. Oh. That's hot. That's hot. Our one goal to her today is to survive. It's your 19th birthday. Don't know if you'll make it to your 20th. <laughs> Come on, Nelly. There we go. Oh, hey. 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's get a replay on that. Mm, rice all over your sweaty shirt. Oh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, big old heaping pile of rice. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at that. I just don't know how to use chopsticks is the only problem. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. oh the meat. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. The only thing I'm not walking out of here with is my eyebrows. <laughs> oh. This is all part of the fun. <laughs> look, it's, it's bubbling. Whee! It reminds me of my undercarriage after a Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. That humor is very inappropriate. Wildly inappropriate. Eat your rice and think about your decisions. He, he, he ordered medium rare. Sound off in the comments if you like well done steak. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't want you on this channel. Sound off in the comments. What do you prefer your steak? Hashtag what the, what the steak say. Fresh. From the grill, 
a to the plate. Thank you, sir. This is definitely not your grandma's shrimp. Look at that delicious. Oh, salmon. you got your salmon? Oh. oh. Could you give him a oh oh oh, oh. delicious. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. Vegetables. <laughs> Come to Fuji. Get some yum yum. Oh yeah. Next level. Uh guys, I think Eddie's getting the food sweats. Where am I? How's the food? Food. Bro, we got we got go. We got go. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> Guys, one of the greatest things on the planet is a sautéed onion. It's like candy. Sometimes I just sit in the movie theater and eat sautéed onions like candy. That's my go-to movie theater snack. Don't, don't you? No. Nobody does that. It's outrageous. It's trash food. <laughs> no, it's just a bit awkward. <laughs> hey! So, Ed, you're paying, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny! <laughs> Comedy clubs down the street. Go to the Yuck Yuck Club down the street. I, I don't have money to pay for this. Yeah. Right, but wait, oh. the food isn't done yet. <laughs> Tom, why don't you put the ring on? Um, <laughs> of course I will. Eat the, the Dane cupcakes. Oh. I get frosting on my face. I got frosting on my face. Got a little more frosting on my face. <laughs> Not the first time you had green poop all over your fingers. <laughs> what a great joke. <laughs> Wasn't that just fun? Just fun hibachi. Great time. Great time. Guys, we know that everything we do is always just silliness. It's just non-stop chaos and stupidity like this. Uh, but today we want to do something that we have never really done with you guys before and we want to go a little bit deeper with you guys today. Uh, everyone has mentors and role models that kind of shape them and, you know, lead them to who they become, end up becoming. And one of our biggest mentors, uh, his name is Bill, passed away this week. Now, we know not many of you know Bill, so uh, we'll give you a little background. For our entire lives, Bill was one of the main leaders of the church that we go to. Yep. He taught us and held classes with us and really helped to mold us into who we are today. As we grew up and started making, you know, videos and content and stuff, uh, Bill would always come up and he'd give us jokes and ideas, but more than anything, uh, Bill was probably one of our main supporters of our stuff. He actually gave us an idea for one of our earliest videos on our other channel called The Cheese Puffs. He's been in some of our videos, yeah. which a lot of adults were not willing to do for us. Yes. No! What did you do? Oh, I okay. was supposed to bring you what? home, and now you're blowing in the wind. How did you do? You stop catching Grandpa Joe. Just leave Grandpa Joe alone. So we can't get a ride home? No! So you know, he's been with us through our whole lives in many different parts of life. And in recent years, he's the one that got us into playing tennis at these very tennis courts. We'd come down here, he'd, he's like, hey, you guys wanna go play some tennis? And we didn't know how to play. We had no idea what to do. And he brought us out here and he's teaching us, so patiently teaching us. If anyone else that we brought that was brand new to the game, he would take time out of his day to you know, teach them and be patient with them. I don't know, and it showed, it showed a lot more about his character than just his tennis skills. So, you know, why are we bringing this up today? Well, our goal as a company and content creators is to uplift, motivate, and inspire. And Bill kind of lived the life that gave us that goal. 
when we would come here and play tennis, we would recruit people and we would recruit our friends to come play. And we'd all be back. We'd have like eight people here just playing tennis and none of us knew how to play. And anytime there was somebody new that didn't quite uh, match the skill level of anyone else, Bill would mentor them and he'd go, all right, you guys, you guys play over here. I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one with this guy and I'm going to teach him how to play. And he's just so patient. Bill also had the ability to just be himself, which is, you know, something that it's getting harder and harder to do these days. You know, he didn't really care what other people thought of him and that's what allowed him to really shine. Uh, in fact, so much so that he actually came on Late Night Boomin' and slow danced with a magician in mm -hmm. front of 300 people. Give Bill a round of applause for joining me up here. Thank you guys. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Now, again, this all happened very suddenly this week. Um, when we uploaded last week's vlog, Bill was still with us. And this week, he's not. Times like this are a time to reflect. Um, because, you know, we don't know who won't be here with us for next week's vlog. And it, it really made us think about our relationships. And of course, times like this are hard, but uh, what can we gain from loss? Uh, I think that some of the things we can take away from it is being able to connect with others who have gone through the same thing on a deeper level. And um, being able to relate with them. And also not taking other people for granted, your loved ones that you see day in, day out. You know, intimacy is very important. That's a big reason why we started the vlogs back up again, is we wanted to be able to relate the people that watch our content on a deeper level. And it also gives us the ability to highlight someone like Bill's life, someone that has impacted us so much, and to be able to share that with you and hopefully uh, that you can take something away from that. because. I know my goal is to be like Bill more and more every single day, the things that he taught me. And I think that's very important uh, in our lives to have those kind of mentors and role models that we can look up to. And, and that's kind of a whole nother part of these vlogs too, is, I mean, obviously we want to entertain you guys, but that is not all we want to do. We want to grow with you guys. We want to see how you guys grow and we want to be able to uplift, motivate, and inspire you guys. We just want to thank you guys all for watching. And thank you guys for going with us on this ride. Like he said, we're gonna grow together. We're gonna go through times like this together. It's really important to talk about these things too. And to not just have the times like, well, this. But it's very important to connect with each other. So guys, once again, thanks for watching and celebrating my birthday with me. It's we get it, it's your birthday. Flashback. But uh, make sure to reach out to someone today. And you know, just tell them how much you love them, how thankful you are for them. You guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with you next week on Pop Up. The aftermath. My god. It's like a giant wreck in my stomach. Your gut is gonna be rotten. <laughs>